Hello everybody! Welcome to my banter blitz. I am International Master Sopiko Gromishvili. As you can see, I'm in Hamburg in our studio. We have a great background of just 24. I've been recording all day my brand new series and I am super tired. So, I have banter blitz, but nobody's in the office, nobody's in the studio boss is not here so i'm going to have some fun you know i've been looking around in this studio you can find so many things so many interesting things i would give you three choices um to choose in which i'm going to play we have a very interesting hat like this or like this we have woo. We have something like this. Hi. And we have an amazing wig. That's exactly the thing um, that like, I feel like that right now. So I'm gonna go to stay tuned and I'm gonna be back with my new hairstyle. Stay tuned. with my new fancy hairstyle. What if I did some chemical treatment to my hair? Would it look like this? I had it though many times, but it did not look like this. What do you think? Which one would you prefer me to play with? Hat, this, or something like this, which, which is not kind of sane. <laughs> Let's have fun, guys. Let's have fun. This is, by the way, quite tough to wear. It's very hot. And, but I don't know, maybe I should change my hairstyle. What do you think? Jan finally had a haircut. Sorry, I, I was not going to um, reveal it, but I saw you today in the office and um, yeah, he had a haircut. So I decided, I got inspired by him. So maybe I should do something with it, huh? What do you think? So. Oh, many options, many options I give you and let's see what hat. Okay, so one hat, two hat, 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 the hair. Okay, it's gonna be the hat then. It's not gonna be this fancy hairstyle. I guess you don't like me in this hairstyle. I was going to change it though. Hm. Anyway, hat, okay. I'm gonna do the hat and let's see how it goes. There we are. I'm with the hat. I have lots of challenges and yep. And I'm gonna accept one. But before I'm gonna accept, I would like to tell you that today is going to be Mrs. Day and Miss Strategy, my gorgeous Miss Strategy, will have today also a banter blitz. Have you seen her last banter blitz? It was amazing. I am so happy that she will do more banter blitzes and I should definitely learn something from her. She is great in explanations and you should definitely watch this show because it's very educational. Though today I decided to be very entertaining. Um, I don't know how much, um, uh, how I'm going to play actually uh, today because I really tell you I'm super tired. But that's not what's interesting uh, for you. And let's see our challenges and 
except one of you. By the way, the good thing is that now I have an opportunity to uh, read your chat, so be careful, don't write anything bad there. I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. The very first one is not premium member. How it is possible not to be premium member on Chess 24? Seriously, there are so many things you can see, you can do, you can train and learn on Chess 24. How do you even dare not to be premium member? That's that's insulting. Okay. It's not insulting, but definitely you should consider to be premium member on Chess 24 because you gonna be have a lot of benefit of it. You're gonna watch video series. My new video series is coming very soon. And guys, I want you to I want you to guess what I am doing. All of you suggested Catalan, but I'm gonna give you a hint. It's not going to be D4. Yep, it's not going to be D4. Um, and good news for E4 players. Oh, I revealed it. Um, okay, it's going to be E4 line and which line do you think? Am I going to go to some sharp knight or four? Will there be some more things to discover in my reporter? You should see that because my videos are coming very, very soon. All right. Um, Nidorf again, suggesting perk or modern. I don't know, I don't know. Actually, you should advise me what to do next. What do you want me to uh, cover in E4 lines? Because nowadays I'm fond of this move. Okay. First challenge. Um, I will accept now and it's going to be Shak Tommy. Hello there. Hello Shak Tommy. I am playing with black pieces. Ooh. That's um that's a bit of uh, problems here. You don't see the board. And yeah, you see, these kind of things happen when I cannot, um, I don't have time to check what's on my um, stream going on. I definitely don't know um, why you don't see the board. You see the half board, that's, that's not cool. Um, let's see. No. This is going to be a ridiculous banter, please. Because I am trying to fix it live. Once again, no. But as I said, there is nobody in the studio. That's why I'm having fun. Hmm. Guys, I'm so sorry. It looks very bad. I have to be able to show you somehow. Let me get an online help to fix all of this. And I promise that I'm going to play many games. You don't worry, I'm here. So just wait a little bit and there I am.
there I am again. This is going to be very tough because there is nobody online. There is, there is nobody to help me. I will try to fix it myself. By the way, I'm not drunk. So you see a new face of me, but it's not alcohol. I don't drink at all. Um, it's just when I am very tired, I am trying to do everything live, um, fix, fix it live, but I don't know if I can do it. I don't see that I can do it. Hmm. That is very bad. That's very, very bad. So I will change plans. I'm not going to have, um, banter blitz. Maybe I will have question and answer. What do you think? Do you agree? Let me know if you want me to call somebody and uh, get this board on the screen or you want to have a um, question and answer show. You choose. I am reading your chat. So please write in the chat question and answer or banter blitz. Banter. Hmm. Okay. There's my miss strategy. Oh, hey, you're going to have an amazing banter blitz. I know. Ba miss strategy wants question and answer. Uh, banter, 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 banter. Okay. That was your choice. So you have to wait a bit and I will get back to you soon.
am back. I don't have good news for you. I could not find anything on this studio computer that could help me, so I could not get an online help and I don't want to I don't want you to follow me on the um, another tab like you're suggesting on the uh, chat that you would watch my games on in another browser and have the video there but those who are watching on YouTube couldn't see the board and it would look very funny if I'm just sitting here and commentating on imaginary moves so I am going to be evil today and this is going to be question and answer show you have or not the questions ready please do ask something or you're gonna have me here bantering blah blahing all the time for an hour which is not a good idea because I do to talk a lot I just recorded a video series and one video lasted 40 minutes when I was always told that it's not that great to have such long video um, because your viewers might get bored. But that's how I do it. I just talk a lot and I cannot help it. I cannot help it. That's why we are going to have today the question and answer show and you're going to use all your little tricks and traps to catch us miss strategy no miss tactics and miss strategy um you will all keep it for anna who will have uh, banter blitz today and i'm very happy about it maybe i should challenge her will she accept my challenge i don't know okay let's see what you guys are up to and what kind of questions you're having so i'm going to look through the chat and see what's going on um no questions yet not even you miss strategy don't you have a question for me that's pity that's very very pity actually I arrived here in Hamburg on Monday and Hamburg treated me very bad. It is raining all day and yesterday, finally after recordings, when I was going to have some great walk, the sun was shining, I got myself a nice smoothie with ice cream. Guess what? I come out of the shop and it's windy raining it's horrible weather yeah that's very bad of hamburg it's really very bad and i'm not gonna forgive it that's it let's see if you have some questions which opening do you dislike the most oh i have list of openings that i dislike um yeah okay let's get serious now and Let's reveal that I don't really like um, when people used to play Alapin against me uh, when I play Sicilian because I am ready for some fights, I'm motivated for some um, great sharp positions and what I get? Alapin. Seriously? That's, that's not fair. Okay, um, second one. Can we have three women with the eight candidates of 2018 candidates tournament? World Cup first and second wild card. That's an interesting idea. That's a very interesting idea. What did you do for training when you were playing tournaments more often? My training um, schedule looked like this. I was doing everyday tactics. I was playing an hour, Bleeds or Rapid, on the uh, website of Chess24. I was reading books. I like to read chess books. I like to read it very much, but I am reading the books without uh, board. I am reading um, just like this, a normal book, and I am imagining the moves in my head. I think that this helps a lot in... Um, 
to imagine the positions and while you're calculating uh, not to blunder your pieces. So I was reading books and I was, uh, if I knew my opponent, then of course I was uh, looking at their games and trying to have some tricky strategy against them. Um, I want to ask which opening you prefer versus Perk, Austrian or what? Generally, I think that Perk is not most ambitious um, opening that Black can play against e4. And I would say that first, when I started to look at e4, I thought that anything would be fine against Perk because it gives up the center and it, it gives white free play in the center. White has space advantage. And I watched some video series on Chess24. I liked their suggestions and um, um, I, I, to be honest, um, I like everything against Birk, so I don't have any preference between Austrian or something else. How much do you enjoy shopping? What's your favorite shopping spots? Woo, I love shopping. Of course I love shopping, I'm a girl. And um, I love uh, to go to various shops. Um, depends. Um, I like very much the shopping malls, which has everything, all brands, so you can go from one place to another and you don't need to go out and enter every shop. Um, I don't have my favorite brand or something and I like to buy um, everything in, like, I mean, like I, I like to buy anything in any shop. It does not have to be a super expensive brand or it does not have to be um, like uh, Armani or Dior or something, though I have something from them as well. Um, okay, another one. Please just play, where's the problem? <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, the problem is that I cannot fix somehow the board size there. And this is why I am having a question and answer show today. And I thought you guys would have lots of questions for me. Because when I'm having the tactics show, you are always happy about the last 15 minutes where you can ask the questions. Um, Sapiga would have made a superb newsreader, should try it for BBC. <laughs> Thank you. Um, how did you meet Giri? Mm. At the tournament. I met him um, in Reggio Emilia, though I knew him before as well. Um, but he was a child, he was a kid when I met him. Um, the difference between us is three and a half ears, you know, and um, yeah, I was not um, hunting for child, uh, children. <laughs> okay, I'm of course joking, but uh, we met in the tournament in Italy, Reggio Emilia. Um, we both won uh, the tournament and that's a really very, very lucky place for me. And I love the city because we met there and later I got proposed um, uh, in Reggio Emilia, so that was very nice, uh, pleasant surprise. Where are the top three items in your bucket list? What do you mean? I don't get the question, so I will skip it. What is chess good for besides winning? Oh, it's good for a lot of things. It is, first of all, great for children and I support uh, chess in schools very much because every child, I think, should know how to play chess. First of all, it teaches, um, it teaches you to think before you make decision, which is very important in life, I guess. Um, impulsive. You cannot be impulsive if you're playing chess because you have to think before you make a move, uh, you have to make some plans and I think it's very very good for life as well. That's why I support chess in schools and um, I really hope that it would um, be more and more popular uh, in the future. Um, okay, where am I? Where are 
next questions. Yeah. Why does Radio Yan hates GM so much? I love that show. I love Radio Yan show. And um, yeah, he's being a bit harsh um, uh, with everybody, but we know that deep in his heart, he's a good boy. And um, he also hates my husband, but um, what to do? Yeah, it's mutual, isn't it? No, it's not. He's. I love the show, and I really hope that we're going to see much more of, or much more of Radio Yan. What do you get first when you read chess books? Sleep, fun. Oh yeah, I'm definitely very sleepy when I uh, read books generally. But um, what do I get first? I get some kind of impression. I want to read that book or not. Mostly. Um, Mostly I read everything uh, from the first page to the last one, but I know many players who have different style. They just open the book like this and uh, if in the middle some kind of good stuff uh, is there, then they continue reading. But I cannot do like that. I have to read from the beginning till the end and it takes me a good while to finish one book. Um, Okay, next question. How would you express your feeling after each victory? Depends on victory. There are victories that you kind of expect and there are victories that you don't expect. If you're playing against um, a very strong player, then you're of course very happy to beat them. If you're playing much lower uh, rated player and you beat them in a nice normal way, then yeah, it's just a very pleasant feeling. But if you're losing against them and you win eventually, that's the best feeling, I would say. Um, what is your advice for playing players 300 or more FIDE points higher than you? Should you try and make the position as sharp as possible? Against me? Against me, it's very dangerous to play sharp positions. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I, I don't know to give uh, this advice to my opponents or not, but um, generally maybe they should try to play sharp positions um, with me if they feel comfortable to, then we would have competition who is better. Um, and uh, end games, I'm not big fan of end games, though it depends what kind of end game it is, because we have end games when queens are off and we have end games when it's really little pieces on the board. Okay, um, another question. Are you familiar with the concept of arranged marriage? What is your opinion on that? I'm familiar with that. I know arranged marriage is happening very often in India. I even know some stories that um, brides have to pay something to groom. I even heard some logical explanation to that. And well, my opinion, I don't know. I think love marriage is better than arranged marriage, but sometimes sometimes it's good to have arranged marriage because um, girls or boys, they don't find each other and it is very bad to be uh, alone in life. Better to have somebody next, but I cannot imagine such arranged marriage if they don't know, the couple don't know each other and um, they just marry just like this. This I don't know. I don't understand. Um, okay. If you were not a professional chess player, what profession career would you choose? That's um, that's a very good question because I am changing my time or my opinion from time to time. First, I thought I would be. I would be. Um, choreograph. 
in dancing. I love dancing. And um, when I listen to music, I always have some um, dancing moves in my head and imagination. And I really love the music. Then I changed my mind. I thought I would um, like to be some photographer because I love and I appreciate good uh, photos, though I'm not very good in them. Um, in that I cannot take um, great photos. By the way, Alina Lamy is amazing photographer and I love, completely love her photos. And nowadays um, I think, I don't know what I would be, but I think maybe I could be an actress. What do you think? Do I have talent for actress? Maybe I could play in some movie. That would be great. I think I would do that. Okay, uh, next one. With whom would you like to exchange for one day and why? No, I would not like to exchange for anybody. I like myself. I'm happy with myself. Um, why don't you watch any TV series? Jan has so many good recommendations. Yeah, that's boring, right? That I don't watch TV series. Um, the problem I think is that I think it's very time consuming and um, maybe I'm afraid that I would get very much addicted to it and uh, I would watch lots of TV series all the time and I would not have time for anything else. Though now for me it's not a real option because once you have a baby you don't have that much time. So if I have an hour I really want to surf some in, uh, surf internet and um, know what, how is my family doing, how is my friends doing, what's new in the world rather than watch um, TV series. Um, okay. Do you, do you qualify yourself as a classical player or dynamic player? I would say that I love dynamics. I don't know how good I am I in that, but um, I would say that I'm more dynamic player rather than classical. Uh, do you think we should put three victories like in three, three point victories like in soccer with one point? draws and zero point defeats. That's a very interesting um, method, though um, we are very much used to, I play chess for 21 years and I am very much used to this traditional, uh, traditional way of counting the points. One point for a victory and um, a half for a draw. Um, I think that it would be a little bit unfair, this soccer method, because, okay, the win is much higher. Uh, of course, it's great, uh, but it's much higher than uh, the draw. And it would put many players into difficult situations when you, um, when maybe draw was enough and you definitely need to win to secure first place. And I think it's quite uh, risky because you have to be able to uh, play like the tournament needs. And uh, sometimes uh, it's not always that if you want to draw, you should, you can or will make a draw because that's the biggest mistake um, players under 2500 uh, do. When they play for a draw, they have only draw in mind and uh, you cannot make draw that easily. You are always thinking about passive moves, um, not um, no fun in the uh, game and you're, you m might just get outplayed. So I don't know. I, I would like to, to play tournaments with um, soccer system um, um, count of uh, the points. But generally, I think that it's also quite okay to have the traditional way of counting the points. Do you see Anish as a world champion? Of course I do. Of course. Um, 
What would you rather have? 100k or beat Magnus Carlsen twice? Hmm. That's a nice question, but my husband already did it for me, so I would take 100, 100k. Um, how good is Anisha dancing? What is his assets on the uh, other than chess and humor? Um, he's a good partner in dancing, um, though I dance better than him. I have to admit that. <laughs> Sorry. And um, his assets other than chess and humor. He's a very interesting person. He has lots of hobbies and I think he's very smart and intelligent. Um, and um, yeah, he has great sense of humor. He really does. Okay, uh, where would you like to be at the, at the moment? In studio, talking to you. I am happy where I am. <laughs> Why aren't you busy on Twitter? Anish is so good at that. Yeah, Twitter account that I have was not created by me. A uh, very long time ago, my friend created for me and I never got it, I never used it and I'm never kind of using it. The only uh, social network that I'm using is Facebook and even there I am not very active. Um, I don't know, I think I'm not um, very much enthusiastic about the posts and uh, tweets. I love um, to have friends around, to talk with them in person and um, social network I just use for those who, who are far from me and internet is only way to get in touch with them. Is your new video series going to be for white or for black? It's going uh, to be for white. Um, okay. Do you have an opinion either way on the revised touch move uh, and the promotion of a pawn with only one hand? The rules about these two things are changing all the time, really all the time. And I think that um, even in handbook we, we can find different uh, rules from time to time. Um, I don't have that, uh, I, I just think that if the rule that was before that if you promote it um, in blitz, if you promote it uh, pawn, first you put the pawn on 8th rank and then put the queen, it was kind of a loss in blitz that I think it was uh, very silly. Now it's changed of course and uh, there is no such problems anymore. So Pico, is there a chance that Giri will do a banter blitz in the next two years? Um, I don't know, he seems to be very busy. I kind of see him once in a month because he's always uh, away um, playing some tournaments. Okay, it's not that true, I see him quite often, but uh, it's true that uh, he's away and he's very busy. But two years is a long time, so maybe, who knows? Um, I would like to watch Radio Jan versus Anish, that would be interesting. Well, it looks like my questions doesn't deserve to be answered. I'm so sorry I missed your question. Could you write it once again? What books do you read besides chess? Nowadays I'm reading everything that's for babies. <laughs> How to... Um, I We are just with Daniel, we are having um, library time. Um, we have lots of books and I'm explaining him the colors, the animals, um, the things, everything, like this is the ball, so nowadays I'm very busy with that. <laughs> um, any suggestion for beginners? Um, depends how much you want to improve um, in chess, you want to have 
uh, chess as a profession or as a hobby because uh, once you choose the way there are different uh, ways to work uh, if you want to be a professional chess player then you should really put everything all your efforts to um, to be a professional player you need to spend a lot of time with chess and first of all what is most important you should love chess when you love chess everything is easier and uh, if you want to have it as a hobby then anything that gives you pleasure is good if you play some games and it gives you pleasure continue but in oh, if you want to be a professional it is not enough um, you have to work hard um, you have to play lots of games analyze it's very important to analyze your own games because there you see your own mistakes and you have a perfect way to um, improve to improve your skills to improve improve your chess uh, tactical vision or a, a strategy it's just everything is seen in your games what are you weak in and what are you strong in uh, which books do you recommend i recommend lots of books nearly every book of um, boris gelfand of jacob Agard. he writes amazing uh, books um, but it is maybe for advanced players and uh, for beginners I would recommend not um, the very high level books but um, the ones which is easier to read. Um, do you accept new friends on social network? I don't have any more um, space I guess I have some limit. Um, what is chess what is the chess game you regret losing the most oh i have so many moments when i um when i regret uh, the lose even a draw because i was once playing a georgian women championship and in the last game if i won the winning position that it would be great because i would share the first place and i would play tie breaks and i was only 15 or 16 years old at that time but unfortunately i don't know because of psychological problems because of nerves i missed a very easy win and the game ended in a draw and that was, I think, my worst day in life because I was so depressed. Um, just like this, I gave up um, in a completely winning position. Okay. Um, when did you do for the last time something for the first time? And what? Hmm that's interesting something for the first time and when it was probably i tried some i tried some new food for the first time and it was not um it was not that long ago i think a month or two Sopiko, you're going to play tomorrow. Unfortunately, tomorrow I am leaving. I will finish my video series. I will do uh, the last videos that I have to. And then I have flight back to Hamburg. Oh, sorry, back to Holland. Um, and I'll probably be back on next Thursday. Maybe not because um then we are going for holidays family holidays um anish is better than jan and much 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 better than radio jan but radio anish would be nice Ooh, that would really be nice but jan is doing great job as well um how do you feel when you get so much appreciation for your work on chess, particularly video series? I'm super, super happy about it. When I read comments or when I read the feedback on uh, my video series, I, I get very happy because um, I feel that 
I gave my viewers what I wanted to give and uh, they really like it. So it's very, very good feeling. Um, how much time we must give to opening? I think once again, it depends on your level. Um, I don't think that up to, um, let's say 2200 uh, openings are very important. Um, I think openings are very important in women chess because um, women's, I think, should know the direction how to uh, continue the play. Uh, well, should know. I mean, it's much easier if you know it. And um, if not, um, yeah, I mean, uh, under 2000, uh, definitely not much time in the opening. Uh, above 2200, 2, then I would uh, take at least an hour in a day for the openings. How do you describe Anish's play style? I think he's very, um, how to say, very, not kind of aggressive, aggressive player, but he's very dynamic uh, player. Uh, if we take a look at his games, it's always, um, it's always full of fun and um, some, um, it's never like boring games and uh, dead draws. He, he's, he's, uh, his results are a lot of draws, but it does not mean that um, he's playing for them or if he gets a chance, he's not using it right. It's just very difficult to play at this level because uh, the opponents are not making that much mistakes. So I think he's a very dynamic player. In your Triangle Slove series, will you do a video on Rook e1 instead of Knight d2 in the Noteboom main line? Uh, I might consider uh, I might consider doing it otherwise I will just take a look and write in chat how to continue. I used to um, answer all my uh, common commentators who comment on uh, this uh, video series um, but uh, nowadays I cannot find that much time uh, to go to Chess24 uh, video series and try to see what are the um, updates on my Triangle Slav uh, series. But if I get time, I will definitely do it. First game, Vikan's a 2017 draw against Lu Shanglei. That was a very nice game and I was actually winning there. It's a pity I did not succeed, but it's very difficult to play against such uh, strong players. You have lots of uh, thoughts in mind, also a bit of psychological problems. Um, does GM Anna have a boyfriend? She does have a boyfriend and uh, he's a very good boy. I know him and um, they are just meant for each other. Um, okay, will Anish and you play Tata Steel 2018? Anish definitely will um, and about me I'm not sure. What language do you speak with Anish? English. Um, I speak Russian, I do speak Russian, but I speak Russian with Anish's family. I just feel more comfortable with English. That's why I speak English to Anish. You should also create a character. That's, that's possible. Suggest me a character you want me to see and I will try to play my Hollywood movie role for you. <laughs> Okay, um, so another one. Have you ever played tournaments in France? Oh, I did. I did when I was 12 years old. Uh, I had there a tournament. It was actually World Youth Chess Championship in Belfort. And I cannot make you happy because it was a disaster. The location, everything was very bad and um, we were not in good hotel, so I don't have good memories from that tournament. Though I've been um, 
have been in France many times and uh, I love Paris and yeah, it's a beautiful city. Um, will you play a game against Giri sometimes? Mm, I played once a very funny uh, game. The point was if he won, he would, I would grab one of his pawns. Like this, I lost second game, so I grabbed two pawns. Then I lost third game and I grabbed three pawns. Then I was completely winning, of course, but I blundered, so I grabbed his fourth pawn and I got on nerves and I just, um, I just went for fifth pawn and then I, it was time to quit. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been in Ukraine? If so, where was it and you like it? I've been to Ukraine, but only with transit. I've actually have not been in the city. I've only visited airport and that was not that much fun. Um, so you like Despacito? Oh yeah, of course, I like it. I like all modern songs and I like, um, I like the new hits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a radio Sopico. I talk a lot. That's true. Detector Sopico as the name of the character. Hmm. That's detector. That's interesting. You mean maybe detective? That would be, that would be me. That would be completely me. Anything you know about India, please express. Ooh, I know many things about India. I know lots of things. I have been there in uh, 2013 and I had, how to say, now that I think of it, I had fun there. But at that moment, I really didn't feel like it was fun because I had two terrible tournaments and um, I lost 44 LO points. I was 24.45 and I lost 44 LO points in India. I just gave it like that into two tournaments. And once the tournament goes bad, even if the place is amazing and even if the place is great, you don't feel like that. It's going to be awesome. We visited many places in Chennai. We've been to the park, to temples. And uh, when I look at the photos now, now it's it was really nice one. But it was tough to be in India and play chess. I should come there um, as a tourist. Or maybe my Indian friends would get married and I would be invited in wedding. I really want to, uh, to visit an Indian wedding. Yeah, I do want that. I love Sari. And yeah, come on guys, it's time to marry. Okay, next one. Um, do you think that current world championship cycle is fair enough? Fair enough uh, for women or for men? What kind of cycle? Because we also have world championship cycle. Um, for women, it is, I would say that it is kind of a bit confusing what kind of system we have because uh, when you win the cycle, you are world champion, but then you play against uh, the one who won the Grand Prix series, then who wins that match is the world champion. So it's a bit confusing, but I would say that that's uh, actually an opportunity for women to play the tournament, uh, like opportunity for me, for people who are from different continents, because if we had the same system like uh, men candidates tournament, it would be um, it would be much much uh, less let's say interactive. Uh, just because not many players would have a chance to participate in world championship. Um, okay, detective of tactics. Detective is nice. I'm yeah. I will I will think of some something to. 
um, create a detective career from myself. Okay. Was the players in India strong? Oh, what do you mean strong? They are super strong. Very, very strong. Little kids like this, they were beating me like, heh, <laughs> like nothing happened. Okay, who is your favorite super GM after Anish? That's good, you made it clear that uh, it should be after Anish. Um, I would say Kasparov. I really admire his style of play and um, he is an amazing. I am so happy to see him back in chess because, okay, he is not playing the classical tournaments, but we see him playing Blitz and Rapid and still, still it's a lot of um, pleasure and very nice to see him playing even if it's a Blitz game. So many O's in your first name. <laughs> India is the mother of zeros. Yeah, India is the mother of zeros. Um, yeah, Sopico. Well, it's just two O's, not that many. Um, what interests do you and Anna have in common? Oh, lots of interests. Um, we seem so different physically. She's blonde blue eyes and I'm brunette with uh, brown eyes but we have a lot in common uh, we like same type of movies we like a same type of songs and when we are together we are having lots of fun we always have fun I don't remember a day when we um, had a bad day when we were together are you going to come to India again of course, I'm just uh, I'm just uh, waiting for the invitation for wedding. <laughs> um, how you fun? How you fun? Definitely needs more support from her female counterparts when she's thrown into lion's mouth. Ooh, yeah, but she's so brave to play in that tournament, and she's uh, actually she's very strong, and she's strong enough to beat. Uh, the guys there. I just hope she won't beat Anish. <laughs> Otherwise, she can beat the guys there. Um, do you think Kasparov is back for real? Well, not for classical tournaments, but for Blitz, yeah. Do you like Magnus? Who doesn't like Magnus? A lot of people doesn't like, uh, don't like Magnus? <laughs> oh, that's a funny question. Well, Magnus is a world champion and I really um, love the way he plays and he's very, very strong. Other than that, I don't know him very well. What is your opinion on Fisher, Morphe and Tall as people? Mm. Well, I know them as chess geniuses. I've heard um, quite a bit of stories uh, about Fisher, Tall as well and Morphe not so much. Um, what can I say? They were, they were geniuses and geniuses have a bit of strange lifestyle. Um, where did you met Anna for the first time? Oh, when I met Anna, it was very funny because we kind of we didn't know each other, but I already had an impression that she's, she's, she's some kind of, how to say even, she's, I don't know how to say. Anna, help me. Um, I had an impression that she's kind of boring girl. Um, well, I didn't know her at all to say about Anna that she's boring. It's a sin. It's just a sin. Uh, but when I didn't know her, I thought that she was... She was not very funny or entertaining or happy or something like this. And yeah, Anna writes now that we thought we didn't like each other. That's true. I didn't want to say that, but... 
that's true i didn't like her um and i thought she was a very strange girl <laughs> um she did the same she thought the same she thought that i was strange she thought that um, i was bad and she didn't like me at all but then i met her um here in hamburg in studio um i was recording uh, here and she was also recording uh her series though she was recording she was working whole night you know whole night just that the studio is free for me in the morning and i did not even know that and when i first came in hamburg i had huge difficulties imagine you are in a room in front of camera there is nobody and you're like a mad girl you're talking uh, all kind of nonsenses but there is nobody nobody to talk to nobody to explain you just have a camera and you're talking like i'm doing now there is nobody in the office and uh, i'm do i'm talking uh, to the camera but actually i'm talking to you guys um and i every morning that uh when I would come to the studio i would have a little lovely message from anna i had hard times recording and she knew that and she was great from the first time so i had uh, some treats some fruits and uh, messages like good luck you're the best you're going to do that and it really really helped me then i changed mind about her i thought that hmm, maybe she's not that bad and then our um manager uh, of Miss Tactics and Miss Strategy, I, I don't know if I can say manager or not, but um, David, uh, he proposed us to work together and we created this Miss Tactics and Miss Strategy. And when we recorded this series together, it was a lot of fun. We have so many bloopers, which is very, very um, uh, dangerous to upload and to uh, be public <laughs> but anyway um yeah that's uh, that was how i met her and since that we are being best friends okay let's see uh other questions and where where am i You two seemed so supportive of each other. Which one of you came up with an idea of Miss Tactics and Miss Strategy? None of us. It was David who came up with this idea. What do you think will happen when Magnus plays Anish next? Reasons. Hmm. What will happen? Knight's game will happen with, um, with a nice result. I hope for Anish. And the reasons, well, nowadays I think it is very interesting in chess that we don't have um, somebody that is completely dominating the field. Uh, there was always fights um, between chess players and there was uh, years when Magnus was completely, completely do dominating. He was winning every tournament. But nowadays we see some new names. Sometimes Wesley wins um, lots of tournaments. Sometimes uh, uh, Fabiano had good years. Um, also Kramnik and um, Anand is always there. So it's very, um, uh, it's very nice to uh, see that there is not one person who can win everything okay um i like anna's games in blitz very creative she's amazing and she will have her show soon um okay let's ask something harder in how many european countries have you been to that's a tough question oh i've been to many countries um I don't know, maybe seven, maybe more. Um, I feel Anna wants to teach students better than more anyone else in the world. That's true. If I had a company or anybody, anybody has a company and is searching for somebody who is 
entertaining, full of energy and dedicated to work, that's Anna Rudolph. That's completely her. She's even more dedicated than me. She's the best. Um, who will win, Anna or Sopiko? We tried many times to play against each other, but didn't work out. It was always draw. Um, do you mean Divis? Yeah, I mean her, him. I mean Divis. Um, okay, um, so... For which women GM would you like to act as a second for a world championship match? How you fun, of course. Do you like Mexico? I love Mexico. I've been there. I've visited Xochimilco or Xochimilco, how it is pronounced, and I completely loved it. And I love Mexican cuisine. I love spicy food. Not as spicy as Indian food, but um, I have a very funny story. Um, when I was in India, I, um, I asked the chef, who brought the uh, food, like, is it spicy? Is it Indian spicy or European spicy? Because the day before I was feeling quite sick. And uh, he said, he said like this, um, it's European spicy, madame. And um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. First spoon I take and it's hot and it's so spicy. If it's so, so spicy, you cannot imagine. And I have tears in my eyes. I look at him. I have like, I'm gonna burst now. I, I have such look. I look at him and I'm like, is this European spicy? And he, very calm face, he looks at me and he's like, if not spicy, not tasty, madame. I burst in love. It was so funny. I love Indian humor, but it was very spicy also. Um, okay. Um, so, Miss Tempo, Miss Time Travel. <laughs> Do you play against Anish regularly? No, I don't play against him regularly. Since you're Miss Tactics, what would you say? 99% Tactics? What is the first step that you do when it's your move? Mm, no, chess is not 99% Tactics, but I would say it's 51% versus 49. <laughs> Don't get angry, Miss Strategy. Um, and first step that I do when it's my move, I think about the next move, plans and uh, plans from my side, plans from my opponent's side, if there are any threats. Mark Dvoretsky and Game Manual is the best book for the end games, I agree. Um, will you have more kids, Sopico? Definitely, I love children. Why don't you play Sopico now, Anna? We might play one day. Did you ever miss checkmate in one, two or three in the tournament chess game? Yeah, in Blitz tournament game, I missed it. Uh, wow, she imitates well. It's European spicy madam. Yeah, I, but I can imitate Indian accent, but my husband, Anish, is amazing. I am revealing a secret, but if one day I am able to record a video how he does French, Russian, Indian, Spanish, English accents, oh, that would be hilarious. That would be really, that would go really viral. But I'm not that good in uh, that. I have some tries, but I'm not better than Anish. He's better than me. So we can see you playing live on the Banter Blitz. Yeah, today actually it's 
it's not how I want it to be. Um, I was planning to have a fun banter blitz, but I think you guys decided that I was very, very tired after my recordings and um, you gave me a break. You gave me an opportunity to talk for an hour. <laughs> okay. And the last question I am going to answer will be Magnus is 20 years old, younger than Anand and they played much, they played in world championship match. Would you like to see Anish versus your son one day? <laughs> How would you support? Who would you support? Ooh, that's interesting. I didn't think about it. I don't know if he's going to be chess player or not. Definitely he will know some moves and uh, definitely he will uh, know chess. But um, if he likes it, then we will definitely do everything um, to so that he's successful. But if he doesn't like it, we're not going to force uh, him anything. And imagining a niche versus my son, that's a very, very pleasant thing. I would be in a win-win situation. Okay. Did you know people call a niche Tablish? No, that's not a nice name. Um, uh, other than them, and Varetsky manual, which book is good for an end game? I would definitely recommend uh, the book that is um, 100 end games you must know from Jose de la Riva. I think that's um, actually the best book in end games uh, because there are really the most important 100 positions which you must know and Tvaretsky manual is of course great and is um, amazing book um, and he has amazing books but that's for very much advanced players I think um, will you upload vlogs on your youtube channel we used to with Anna but maybe once we're together we will continue to do that um, it's yeah I have not played at all I have some technical problems to show you the board that's why I decided it would be a question and answer show and I think it's going to be my last answer to promote uh, Sapika, what is this specific? Uh, what is the specially specialty of your upcoming video series? How did you shift to E4 all of a sudden? <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't shift completely. I just. Um, I think I revealed that in uh, Vikense, uh, for Vikense I was preparing E4 and I played it in uh, many games, also in the first uh, game against Lushengle. And uh, when I was preparing E4 I really liked it. I thought that it also suits my style. Uh, um, it's very active okay d4 is also great and i just think that players should be able to play everything and you should not um, play only one thing um, all your life and um, my series will be about um, i'm not going to say uh, which opening but um, i start the introduction with um, giving uh, like hoping to give you in this video series the energy, motivation, enthusiasm and of course uh, knowledge to play that opening. And I, um, the main idea what, uh, why I'm doing E4 uh, series uh, is that I really think that um, we need some kind of energy, good energy, good vibes to play um, to start with E4 and I thought that um, that would be that opening would be a great start 
to open the E4 repertoire. I might do a lot more in um, E4 repertoire. I might cover lots of um, openings, but probably that's for future. For now, I will finish this one tomorrow and um, I'll get back to you probably next Thursday. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for bearing me this hour. And I am very happy that I managed at least to talk for, uh, for more than an hour, but it did not come out like I wanted that we would play some Blitz. But now you will have my amazing colleague, Anna Rudolph, who has um, much more entertaining banter Blitz than I do. So good luck. I wish Anna also best of luck. Enjoy and have fun. See you next Thursday. Bye-bye.